Now, Yana, you ha- wear multiple hats right now, and you mentioned a couple of things that I want to dig into. You, you know, obviously, investor, advisor, you know, uh, community advocate, right? So all three. But you mentioned some key words, and, and I, I wear multiple hats as well. So I'm going to put on my other hat, which is all about oh, I can't wait. You know, um, the, the, the ROI, <laughs> and I'm going to put on the metrics hat here. Um, so I've got my metrics hat on. So, you know, from your three hats of advisor, you know, investor, and community advocate, when we talk about some of these activities, how do you measure some of them and how do you prove the value? I mean, a, 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 when, when a founder believes in it and they see like, you know, the acceleration happen, that's one thing. But in a lot of companies, it's difficult to get started. And especially when maybe you're not hitting your revenue targets or, you know, you, you mentioned, you know, oh, you want to get that one million in ARR before you can get your Series A. Um Maybe you're not hitting the 1 million in ARR, but you're doing the community activities. You've got a million users, but no paying customers. Um, so how do you how do you show some of the value there? How do you show the ROI on some of the metrics? What do you look for? It's a lot of questions. Yeah, I know. It's such a t- uh, we, we're always, and especially now more than ever, right? If you're putting any type of budget towards like community and DevRel programs, like what is, what is the ROI? It's a, such a tough one, right? It's like we're always trying to answer that. Um, and right, there's there's metrics like like the amount of activities, right? You can measure DevRel by like, okay, hey, the, the, this DevRel person wrote this many blog posts a week and spoke and, and respond to this many GitHub issues and, and Twitter, right? So it's like, that's one. And then there's also kind of um, other metrics, okay, growth of like followers on Twitch and YouTube and, and your social media. Um, like at HashiCorp, kind of we, we at the end had a really large kind of DevRel community team and kind of like our North star was like the, the amount of traffic that we drove to our learn platform because it, it was self-serve. And so that to us was um, important, right? That the amount of people that were going in and learning about our stuff was uh, without us. Cause right early days at HashiCorp, we were teaching trainings at all of our conferences. We were doing all those trainings, right? So imagine having an engineer and a DevRel person for a full day teaching 15 people that doesn't scale. Um, so that was kind of like the overall DevRel metric at HashiCorp. And then of course, each team had its own specific uh, like number, of, like tracking core contributor sentiment over time, um, tracking like ambassador engagement over time, tracking like Slack engagement or GitHub discussions. So there's various ways you can kind of look at like the health of the business. Um, but, it, but it's a combination. And I always think like, community is still part of kind of like your go to market and, and your marketing. So it's like, so it's all of these touch points that help you convert, a, a potentially, right, convert a person to a paying customer. So it's, they attend a webinar, they, they get touched in some way, right, through um, sales or DevRel. So it's, 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 it's all of it works in, in tandem. Hmm. Measuring uh, contributor sentiment is a really interesting one that I don't think I've heard before. How, how, just by like surveys or what, what were you doing to? Yeah, to there, there's that? like survey. I mean, for us, right. It's, if there are people that are contributing, right. And then had like, that's great. That, I mean, that's one person that we are not paying. Uh, and that's someone that intimately understands the project, the code, the space. And so it's like, so you want to treat those people well. And, and so for us, right, we did core contributor program every year. So every year we kind of celebrated the code and we would send them. Mm. And so for one thing that we track was conti- like continuing, right? Is this person continuing to contribute over time? Uh, and then like, and if they haven't, right, is there like, we can we figure out what happened? Why um, circumstances and, and how can we kind of bring them back? Got it. Got it. So let's get back to my my hat because I put it on and I don't want to take my headphones off yet to switch hats again. <laughs> um, you know, and when we talk about metrics, because you know sentiments and metric, but I'm I'm interested from an an investor perspective. Um, as you are evaluating investments, um, especially now, um, I know that there are companies out there, startups, people who are potentially looking to you know take what they've developed and uh, look at a commercialization strategy. Are, are there certain metrics that you're looking for? or indicators that would kind of like help you evaluate them for a potential investment? Yeah, I'm so new to the investment side. It, it was kind of wild. I don't know if you have like both thought like, it's so cool to like think about your career. And for me, I, like I've always been like an early stage builder. Like I love startups uh, and I kind of just fell into investment. Uh, I'm really like, I, I met my two partners. Um, I, I work at TQ Ventures and so I was making angel investments. So after HashiCorp, uh, I made about 
15 angel investments, kind of mostly dev tool infra, open source space. And when I met the partners, they gave me kind of this like part time and they're like, and I realized I knew actually nothing about like how to evaluate businesses. Like I was like, I was like, this looks cool. I really just like the founder. Oh my God. They have, you know, 10,000 GitHub stars. This seems great. And I was just like, I have no idea like <laughs> how to actually evaluate a business and, and Avi Romans, I'm sure you, you know more than I do. Um, but yeah, early stage, right. There's just kind of, it's, you look at the founders. So there's like three, right. So it's like, you look at the founders, right. Kind of what is, what is their background? Is this, is this like a problem space that they've just been like, like Mitchell, he has thought about infrastructure automation since he was in college, right? Like he eats, breathes, and sleeps this thing. And so you can you can feel kind of this passion, right? Versus is a founder, this is just kind of an idea they just kind of like happened upon um, and they're just doing it, right? Uh, and then also kind of like, the, yeah, so a lot about the founder, kind of what is their ability to hire? Uh, what is their ability to like kind of like tell the story, inspire people? So there's like the founder piece, then there's the... Um, kind of product, right? And and so we do a lot of like due diligence. So is this a really interesting space? Is this like a nice to have or, or a must have, right? Um, is this, are they defining a new category or, uh, so, so right, you do a bunch of evaluation around the product. Um, and then there, and then there's like the business side of things, right? Like uh, how big could this potentially business be, right? What is their ability to build a moat? Are there like a bunch of other competitors, right? Are they just kind of building a competitor to vault, right? Or is this kind of a new way to like do like secret storage management and like a new, so 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 there's kind of the, those for early stage and then later stage. Like the one thing I didn't understand was the partners are having me read, um, understand PNL statements. Like I'm right now reading like oh. Warren Buffett's book on how to understand like profit and law. And then the partners are like, hey, Yana, let's pull up like Microsoft's like financials and let's go through. And I'm like, why are they having me look at like the like, public companies? And it's like, oh, because kind of for like, you know, once once companies have some like revenue, you can you can like start to look of like, okay, like what is their like LTV and what is their average like uh, customer con? So you can start to kind of look at like, is this a healthy business, right? Does it take them six to eight months to like get a return on a customer or is it 20 months, right? So it's been kind of cool. Again, I've only been doing this two months uh, and I'm so grateful for my partners being like, just like, they're both like investment stars, right? Like one of the partners used to run a hedge fund and he's just sitting here explaining to me like cap tables and, and like, and like terms. So, so I feel lucky. So again, I'm new, I can't say, but this is what I've learned so far.